Welcome back to River City Live. Mark, I know coffee flows through your veins, but do you know what Australian coffee is? Ooh, I think it's when like a kangaroo does something with his pot. I have no idea. <laughs> nope, that is not it, but nice try. So I don't actually know either, so we sent our associate producer, Abby, down to St. Augustine to see what the hype surrounding the Australian coffee at the Kookaburra, Co Kookaburra Cafe is all about. Let's check it out. My partner and I decided uh, back in 2012 that we wanted to uh, move forward with the concept that we'd been working on informally for quite a while. We came down to visit Spencer's uncle, fell in love with the city, and felt there was a, a genuine need for, the, for a, a good coffee shop uh, in town. Came upon our spot here at 24 Cathedral and just thought it would be a great way for us to kind of break into the market. It was small enough for us to work by ourselves, which we did for about a year. Um, and the concept kind of grew uh, from there. I am a uh, dual citizen. I'm an Aussie American. My mother is Australian. My father was American. Um, so I kind of grew up going back and forth. The coffee culture in Australia is very robust and very uh, developed. Particularly the espresso culture in Australia is far beyond what it was in the U.S. And they've got a great cafe culture. So we felt like it was a good way for us to kind of differentiate ourselves for any international tourists that were coming through. Um, it's a way to kind of signal that we have great coffee. And then the Aussie Pies was just a fun offering for us. The Aussie Pies are kind of near and dear to my heart. I have a lot of um, fond memories as a child of enjoying those. One of the reasons we've been embraced is because we are taking a bit of an atypical approach to third wave coffee um, in that we are using really high quality beans. Um, we use, currently use Bold Bean out of Jacksonville, who's, who we've used since we started. Um, we're actually slowly beginning to roast our own beans into the mix, but They've been fantastic, and they have a great product. So we've been using them, preparing coffee in a third wave um, manner, doing pour overs, doing excellent espresso, um, making sure that our lattes and flat whites are, are spot on. But what we do to make us a bit different is we make a few of our own syrups. We have a lot of fun with drinks, and we try to make it an environment where people can come in and get kind of anything. So we do drip coffee, we do Chemex, we do awesome espresso, we do funky lattes with different syrups. We use uh, Wainwright Dairy out of Live Oak, Florida, which is by far the best dairy that you can get in this area. We make all of our baked goods fresh every day at our 312 location, including all the pies. They're all family recipes. So we're really just trying to give people the most fresh, unique experience that they can get. We want each and every customer who leaves our establishment to be, you know, impressed with their overall experience. And we want them to leave in a happier place uh, than when they first came in. I must go to there. Right. You know? Uh, for more information about the Kookaburra Cafe, head to our website, rivercitylivetv.com, and click on the Ask CNN on RCL tab.